for everyone's reference, I will just start with some uh, basic, uh, some background. As the capital of Taiwan, Taipei City covers uh, an average of the, 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 the space about 270 square kilometers and the population is around 4 million. Uh, we have re uh, very rich nutrients for developing smart city, for example, the convenient mass transportation for uh, the system and the high quality of talent, uh, as well as the strong ICT industries chain and solid infrastructures. These are all our nutrients. So uh, what's our vision? Uh, the developed vision of Taipei Smart City is livable and sustainable. So through the promotion of Smart Taipei, we aim to achieve city diplomacy and the industrial globalization of, of our strong ICT along the whole way. And in order to develop Taipei as a sustainable and a livable city, uh, the Department of Information Technology Taipei City Government established Taipei's Smart City Project Man Man Management Office in 2016 to develop and guide Taipei Smart City initiatives. So our objective is to bring in public participation and promote public and public public private partnership to introduce innovation. And by transforming the entire government as an open platform and using the entire city as a living lab, TBMO assists in opening up the public fields and also introducing creativeness from the private sectors. So to achieve these ends and objectives, we adopt two approaches. One is the top down and the other is the bottom up to conduct the proof of concept project within Taipei. And through this mechanism, we provide the opportunity for the private sectors to introduce their solutions. And also for city departments, they can try new solutions without providing budgets. And the proof of concept provide both side, the private and the public to showcase and test and verify the effectiveness of their solutions. So uh, as everyone all knows, the innovation always comes with risks. And in the past, every penny the city government uh, spent must be overseen by the city council. And therefore they are so afraid of uh, getting being failure and very conservative. By providing the entire city and the POC uh, uh, concept, the city department received the POC uh, demonstration free of charge and it's like having the free sample in the supermarket. So uh, they stop being afraid to pay something new, but possibly wrong. The culture of being conservative, therefore, is changed and the city government become more open-minded and to embrace innovation. So as you can see, the over past five years, we already uh, facilitate more than 250 projects and engage in more than 30 uh, city departments and more than 500 stakeholders. Uh, so uh, for Taipei Smart City, uh, this is a dynamic process that have to be adjusted to the needs along the way and responsibly quickly to the needs of the citizen. So beginning in 2020 last year, we adjust our uh, smart fields into one plus seven key fields drivers, including the smart buildings, the smart transportation and education, health, environment, security, economy, as well as the smart government as its core. And the first case is the smart education. This is a Taipei Code Cloud, a project from, uh, for in smart education. It is to practice the education equity and diminish the uh, digital device between students. It integrates the cloud learning resources in the daily network function for teachers, students, and parents. Uh, currently, for the cloud learning resources, it has more than one uh, 10,000 online learning videos covering a total of 24 subjects from elementary school to high school. And we also signed the MOU with 15 other cities in Taiwan to provide the intercity uh, resources and assistance as a platform. And the next one is the uh, green, transpa green transportation. Uh, Taipei's public trans transportation is uh, considered the best in the country. And to achieve a high ratio for green transportation, we continue to implement policies uh, such as expand the numbers of public share bicycle and rental station, uh, promote, uh, promote share motorcycles services through PPP uh, or 
uh, setting up electricity recharging facilities as a new town of Kokoda city, and as well as the conduct match uh, backing for shared parking spaces. These are all our policies for the green and shared transportation. And this is the very simple one, which is under expectation with foreseen reasons. We try more than 10 different solutions to test uh, if smart parking can increase the efficiency and help the city to solve the uh, parking problems. However, because the citizen will not proactively make a payment actually digitally, and so it would result in increase of the administration fee. Although the technology can support small parking, but however, after the proof of concept, we realize that it's the behavior influences the, con the, con the conclusion and the result of these kind of projects. And uh, this is another case for the LoRa one. Uh, LoRa is one of the communication technology. In the beginning, we have the POC to test the effectively, effectiveness of this one in city center. But we realized the signal will be blocked by the buildings and the concrete walls. So the result, uh, the original result is quite poor. So uh, to uh, to find another way, it uh, finds another ground in the open area. Uh, for instance, it helps to improve the security network in uh, Fetra Reservoir. Often requires a lot of manpower, time, and funds to handle the security surveillance and management of the facility pyramid. Parameters. So it helped to uh, improve the smart security network in the reservoir. And this is the another case strongly adored by our citizens. And in the waste management policy in Taipei, you can only dump your household trash while the, the, the trash trunk passing by on a regular basis. So if you miss the time, you need to wait until the next day. So, uh, when this solution provides a waste and recycling management uh, station operating 24 hours every day, it's the lifestyle of our citizen and they won't create a terrible smell thanks to their specialized cooling system. And those working late uh, citizens and finally don't need to catch the trash trunk and they are able to clean their daily trash at any time. So this solution quickly got into the pilot stage from one station expanding to five stations. And this is another case in collaboration with the Taipei City. And it's a French startup company uses IoT technology to monitor the vibration and the 3D demotion data of read with position. And the surveillance camera also collect the traffic flow and the performed vehicles uh, recognition data uh, to a foreign company to uh, work with the Taipei Smart, uh, smart uh, Taipei City, uh, they need to find a local partner. So a local partner will become the communication channel and, and help them to uh, communicate with the development officials or also to uh, establish the hardware and the software in Taiwan. So uh, over the past few years, we already covered a lot with a lot of uh, foreign uh, cities uh, such as a lot from the Europe and the, the North America, as well as from the, the Asia. And uh, we are also very welcome uh, any cities from India to uh, look for, for the cooperation. Thank you. Here's my presentation. If you have any questions, you're very welcome to address that. Uh -huh.